Jane's Bond Mystery. Written by Susan Markowitz, Meredith, and read by Len Stem. It is Saturday morning. Erica and her dad ride bikes to the bakery every Saturday. Erica always get a hot cinnamon bun. Bye, mom. Erica says as she run out the door. See you later, mom says. Erica just wait at the ends of the drive with his bike. Erica jumps on her bike, and they ride to the bakery. When they get there, Erica park her bike. She runs inside and says, "I have my usual, Mr. Hoffman. I'm so sorry." The barker says, "A lady just bought all the cinnamon buns." Erica runs out of the bakery. Dad, someone bought all the cinnamon buns. She explained. A lady with a bag, big bag, just came out of the bakery. Says Dad. She wearing a polka dot dress. Says another man. Does anyone know where she went? Asks Erica. I saw her go down the street on a black scooter. Says the boy. Erica and her dad ride after the lady on their bikes. Soon they ride past a woman on a side walk. Erica asks, "Did you see a lady in a polka dot dress?" She turned right at the corner. The woman says. Erica and her dad turn right at the corner. They see a black scooter in front of the art center. They park their bike next to it. They go inside and see a bag on the table. That looks like a bag from the bakery. Erica says, "I think you're right," says Dad. The bag is empty. We have to use our noses to find the cinnamon bun. Dad says Erica smells the smell of cinnamon coming from around down the hall. Erica walks into the room. Hello, Erica says Mr. Garcia, the art center teacher. Have you sell to the cinnamon bun? She says. Then come help us paint. They have found the cinnamon buns, and Erica feels happy. Glossary. Baker, a person who bakes bread, pastry, or cakes. Bakery, a place that makes the sell bread, pastries, or cakes. Cinnamon bun, a snail-shaped pastry flavored with cinnamon and coated with a sugar glaze. Scooter, a motorized vehicle having two or three wheels, similar to a child scooter but having a seat. Usual, something that common, a habit of an individual.